Good day, good day everyone and once again we're back together. All right, and today we're going to be looking at the area rule. So if you haven't subscribed, please just make sure you're part of the family and we are going to give you some good content going forward. If you're struggling with maths and science, you're welcome to get in touch with us and all the information that you need will be on the description of this video. All right, now let's get right into it. So I'm going to be approving the area rule, right? And uh, this time around, I'm going to be using the acute angle method, right? And in my next video, I am going to be using the obtuse angle, right? So the first thing that we are going to do, or rather the first thing that we always do whenever we're trying to prove the area rule. So I'm going to have triangle ABC, Right. And I am going to uh, to draw there. Right. A uh, line AD. Right. So let's call that D over there. And line AD is a perpendicular uh, line. All right. Uh, line AD is actually a line that is perpendicular uh, to BC. Right. So in this case, what are we required to prove? So we're required to prove Okay, that the area of triangle ABC is equal to half of A multiplied by C, the sine of angle B. Now, remember how the area rule works is that you always take the other two sides and the angle between those sides, right? Now, remember we said if we've got triangle ABC, right, the side that is opposite angle A, right, so which side is that? It's side BC. So this entire side is called small side A. So I'm going to just simply put an A there, that's BC. And the side opposite angle B, right, so remember it is that entire side which is AC. That we call small angle B. And the side opposite to angle C, there it is over there, that we call small side C, right? All right, now let's get into it. So we've got sides A, B, and C, right? Um, now, the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to work in triangle ABC. So we're going to say, right, how do we get the area of a triangle? So the area of any triangle, that is ABC in this case, that's going to be half of the base multiplied by perpendicular height. Now, what is our base? Our base will be side A, and the perpendicular height, actually, I should have uh, given it a name, uh, that's that side there, the perpendicular uh, line there, AD, right? Let's call that H. So the area of triangle ABC will be half of the base. The base is BC, right, which is small side A, multiplied by the height, okay? So that's how the perpendicular height in this case, which is H. So that's how we always determine the area of a triangle. But remember, in this case, we want to express it according to the area rule, right? So now, we need to find an expression that will give us the sine of B. So I'm going to go into triangle ABD, right? And I'm going to say, well, in triangle ABD, okay, I know that the sine of the angle, right? So the sine of angle B will be equal to, now remember sine is opposite over the hypotenuse. So the opposite side will be H, right? And the hypotenuse will be C. So I know that sine B will be H over C. That's opposite over hypotenuse. So now we can express H and say, well, if we cross multiply there, that means that H is equal to C, the sine, of B. Well, um, in fact, I should have called that equation one. And let's call this equation two. So all I'm going to do is substitute 
equation 2 into equation 1. And so the area of triangle ABC will be equal to half times A, but now we know what H is. H is C, the sine of B. And of course, ladies and gents, I could have done it with any of the sides, but there it is. We've got the two sides, A and C. So this side and this side, the included angle, which is the angle in between the two sides that we're looking for. So ladies and gents, that is how the cookie crumbles. As I said to you, we are going to be looking at the obtuse angle method, right? So please look out for it. Otherwise, from me for now, I'll see you guys next time. Shop, shop.